Hey guys, so today I have my July favorites. I, ow, you just bit me. I swear to God, every time I start to film, she goes crazy. Here she goes. All right, normal. Okay, so things that I have been loving this month, I have a lot. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I have been trying some new products and really have been enjoying them and some of them I haven't even shared with you before yet. I hope you guys all enjoy this video and let's just get right into it. So first I have a couple products by Andalou Naturals. Um, I just discovered their, this brand on Vitacost recently because I was looking I was looking for a company that I could replace um, Michael Todd with, with similar ingredients, just really good ingredients. And the main thing I was looking for was an aloe vera, just aloe vera based products instead of water based products. First one is the Andalou Naturals Clementine and C Illuminating Toner. And it's for normal combination skin and it's like their brightening line. And I usually, sometimes I'll like spray it on my face, but for the majority of the time I just spray it on a cotton pad and then I just rub it on my face after I cleanse and I have just been loving this toner it's really good it reminds me a lot of my Michael Todd cranberry antiox one and it just smells very like citrusy so it has vitamin C it is targets hyperpigmentation and UV damage improves skin's tone and texture the aloe hydrates, it balances your pH, and uh, stimulates circulation for luminosity. So I love this. It's great. It says you can e even use it as like a refreshment and spray it on with your makeup. But definitely a new favorite that I, I'm sure I'm going to buy again. The other one is the Ultra Sheer Daily Defense Facial Lotion with SPF 18. And this is the Age Define line. And I wanted a moisturizer that has SPF in it so I can sometimes in the morning I don't have to like, you know, have a bajillion steps. I can just have my SPF in here with my moisturizer. The thing I like about this, it rubs in so nicely. This has Bioactive 8 Berry Complex. Helps defend against UV and environmental damage and stimulates healthy cell renewal for age-defined benefits. So it's very lightweight and I love it. It smells like... The yeah, it smells of citrus, but then you get a little bit of the SPF scent as well. The next thing I have is um, something by Paula's Choice. This is a skin perfecting 2% BHA liquid. And it sells silk acid and it's supposed to create radiant even skin, uh, reduce redness, build collagen, unclog, and diminish enlarged pores. And let me just start off by saying um, for the past like two months, I think I have only gotten one pimple. And I'm not even kidding you. And I got that like last week. Like I have not had any breakouts for the past couple. It's, I don't even know why. Like, well, I'll explain to you why I think it's why. But um, I, my skin has just been amazing lately. I always get random breakouts, especially like during my period. I always get, you know, occasional breakouts and stuff. But it's just been so great. And especially because I went to the river a couple weeks or like two weekends and it's just nice when you're outside just not to have to worry about pimples and stuff. So one of the things that I believe to be um, a reason for that is because of this. And I use it almost, not every, like every other day, um, right after I wash my face, I'll use this before my toner. And I just really feel like it really helps exfoliate underneath my skin and just keep my skin super refreshed and keeps the pimples away. And it's just been great, and I haven't really been able to be without this for the past two months, I think. I've used about this much of the product, but uh, you don't need that much, and it just keeps my skin feeling just fresh and healthy and uh, clear. The other reason why I think my skin has been acting pretty good is because I've been using, I've been skipping foundation and using tinted moisturizer, and the tinted moisturizers that I've been using have been more natural ones and I swear that this has just helped my skin tremendously. I, I only have samples of the two because I don't know which one I want to buy the full size of. I'm kind of debating. So the first one is the Tarte Tinted Moisturizer and then the other one I have is the Hourglass Tinted Moisturizer. So I'll insert like pictures so you can see what the packaging looks like. I don't, I honestly don't know as of now which one I want to buy over the other. The Tarte one I love because it's super velvety and really easy to apply your skin. It's very lightweight and it just blends in seamlessly. 
Um, both of them uh, like give you a little bit of coverage. I'd say light to medium if you build it like another layer. But the Tarte one just makes my skin feel so healthy. It looks just so... Do I have that one on right now? I have the Hourglass on right now. Um, and the Hourglass one, on the other hand, the texture is a little bit thicker. So you have to rub it in a little bit more. However, you get a little bit more coverage with the Hourglass one. It leaves you with a... Um, it's not matte at all. Both of these are like a leave you with a dewy finish. So if you are oily, you definitely have to set this with a finishing powder. I usually do anyways, but if I'm in a rush, I don't. But they are just both amazing. The Hourglass one is a little more expensive, but it's because it has anti-aging benefits in there as well. So it says like within an hour of applying it, your skin is tightened and all this stuff. So that's why it's a little more expensive. It's kind of like a two-in-one kind of thing. The, the Hourglass one is free of more things. It's better for you. But they both have just really good things, like really good ingredients in there. I know the uh, Tarte one has a lot of vitamins, a lot of antioxidants, and I swear they just have really helped my skin look fresh and healthy, and um, I don't feel like my my pores are being clogged. It just feels like you're actually like putting something good for you on your skin. And just, I can't say enough good things about these two, so either one I would highly recommend. I think I'm going to do them like side by side on my face and see kind of how, how it kind of compares. But I love these two, they're amazing. Next for my shampoo and conditioner, I have been using the Kristoff Professional Hydrating line and I love this stuff. So I have both of them in the hydrating formula and therefore dry damage hair, but I love the way these feel in the shower. They feel super hydrating, super moisturizing, and the smell is amazing too. It smells like just very clean and fresh and kind of like a salon shampoo, you know, and this is the one of the only shampoos that Andrew has ever said like, oh, your hair smells great. Every time I wash my hair with these, he's like, your hair smells really good. There's UV protectors in here that help, helps with sun damage and color fading. Um, it has creatine to provide strength and elasticity, vitamin C for shine, and they are paraben free. So um, they do have sulfates in here, but hey, they work great and I love them. So highly suggest these. I've seen them, the only place I've seen them at is CVS. So if you have seen them elsewhere besides CVS, let me know, but that's the one place I know that you can buy these at. Okay, moving on to an eyeliner that I have been using the entire month. It is my MAC engraved, and it's down to a little nub, but it's the PowerPoint, I'm pretty sure, PowerPoint eyeliner. This is one of my all-time favorite eyeliners ever. I have been using this, not this same one, but MAC engraved eyeliner since I was a sophomore in high school. So it has been quite some time now, and this is just one of those products that I use up and I always buy again, no matter what, I don't even question it. It doesn't rub off on my contacts, and. I have a really hard time with eyeliners rubbing off my contacts and this one just stays put and it's easy to blend and it's just really really good. Um, just a go-to for me. One that I found for like a drugstore alternative is the L'Oreal uh, Carbon Black Extra Intense and it says liquid pencil eyeliner. The only thing about this one, um, which some people might like more, this is so creamy that it's like... I, I literally put like a tiny bit of it on my waterline and I can use the whole thing for my entire eye. It's just, it's so soft that sometimes it can be a little messy. So personally I like the MAC one better because you can like have more control over it. But if you just want a drugstore option then the L'Oreal one is a really good one. Also I like the end has a little smudgy sponge thing on there too. Next we have a body wash. This is by The Body Shop and it's the Coconut Shower Gel. It's a soap free cleanser with Community Fair Trade Virgin Coconut Oil from Samoa. The reason I like this so much is the scent. It is just a true coconut scent. It smells so real, so creamy, and it just is amazing. And I love it in the shower, just putting it on a loofah and it just suds up nice and it just feels so good. Love this. I will definitely buy this again. Um, I love coconut. 
stop. Next, I have my La Vera After Sun Lotion, After Sun Shimmer Lotion. And this I've been using a lot this month because I've been in the sun more. And um, afterwards, I hate the feeling of like dry, chapped skin. It drives me crazy. So what I do with this is I just slather it all over my body after I get out of the sun and it just instantly absorbs into my skin. It feels amazing. It has aloe vera and almond oil in here. And I love it. It has a little bit of like shimmer in it too. So it just kind of makes your skin look nice and radiant and just just a perfect thing to have in your beach bag. Okay, I want to talk to you about a couple um, eye makeup removers that I've been using. So the first is this Jason Quick Clean. It's pure natural makeup remover wipes and it's fragrance free, no parabens, SLS or phthalates. And they're just like little pads, you know. So what I do with these is I just take two of them and I just put them on either eye, just hold it there for a little bit, and then I'll just rub all my makeup off. And they work really nicely. I would definitely buy them again. They're just easy. They're especially nice in the summer because they're cucumber, so they're like cooling and soothing. And it's just a good thing to keep, especially if you're like going overnight somewhere. It's just a nice thing to have to get your makeup off quickly. The other one that I have is by the Moody Sisters, which I mentioned. It's the just eye makeup remover. And I love this stuff. So this is a little different than anything that I've used before. So basically it's just a liquid. So you, I just pour some onto my hand, rub it all throughout my hands, and I just coat my eyes and I just put it on my entire face. And it just breaks up all of your makeup. It takes everything off and it feels so good. It just leaves a little bit of residue on your skin, like a little bit of oil, but it feels really nice and moisturizing. Um, I like this better, I know, I can't believe I'm saying this, than my Alba and Petroleum Jelly. And the reason is because it's it's a thinner oil. Like the Alba is a thick, it's like Vaseline. So it's just really goopy and if you use too much it's just kind of a pain sometimes. Um, this one has just been so convenient and in the shower it's nice. I just kind of pour some on my hands. And it just takes everything off and it feels really nice and good. It is kind of weird since it's a liquid, like it just feels like it's getting everywhere. You could probably use this on a cotton pad, which is probably easier, but I just have just been putting it all over. The only ingredients in here is apricot kernel oil, sunflower oil, water, and vitamin E. That's it. So highly suggest this if you want a makeup remover. And it's just been a nice addition to my skincare routine at night. And then a couple non-beauty favorites. The first is this candle. It is from Target and it's it's by Bella by Illume. And the scent is Island Midnight, Moonlight, sorry. And it's a soy candle. The notes in this are Ruby Cassis, Valencia Orange, and Sandalwood. And it's just like blue inside. It's almost identical to the candle that they, they burn all the time in Anthropology. It's called Volcano and it's in like that big kind of glass container. Um, this smells so much like it. It smells refreshing and citrusy, but the sandalwood makes it kind of earthy. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. If you just go to Target, just smell this. I think it was $10 for this one and you get, how much in here, 10.2 ounces. So it is a good deal and I have been obsessed with this. Next, this is kind of funny, this is called No G, Elizabeth Hasselbeck's No G, No Gluten Protein Delights. And they are chocolate caramel bliss, gluten free like protein bars. They're like little squares that you get, they come individually wrapped. And I got these off of Vitacost when I was looking for like gluten free snacks. They look like, like this. And these have been just so helpful throughout the move. Um, if I just want like a quick, if I need some food but I don't have time, um, these have just been amazing. And they have just 120 calories in one bar. They taste like candy, just like chocolate and caramel. It's made with soy protein crisps. But it has whey protein in here and they just, they taste amazing. And then last I have a drink from Trader Joe's that I recently got and just loved it so much. So it's the Villa Italia Italian blood orange soda and it's so good. I love this. Like it's such a treat. So it is just um, blood orange juice with mineral sparkling mineral water and just tastes amazing. So if you're at Trader Joe's, check this out. So those are my favorites for the month of July. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon. Bye.